tactically. He is cowering. All right. <laughs> it is Kyrie's turn. Can I take my action and slightly kick him off the way? <laughs> you could, but it probably wouldn't be wise. <laughs> no, of course not. Um. Well, crap. Well, you have one spell left, I believe. <laughs> I do. I do, but I'm not sure which one I want to use. I mean, the worst thing that could happen is I might hit you for that 17 damage next time. <laughs> Oh no, I'm not going to be at the front very much longer. Well, what do you wish to cast? Hold on, I'm deciding. <laughs> well, decide quicker. Alright, we're going to cast uh, Hideous Laughter at it. That's probably a good idea. Alright, go ahead and uh, link the spell. Alright, and what's your DC? 13. Okay, you ready for this? Sure. Just barely passed it. <laughs> it's uh, wisdom, not charisma. Oh, you're right. Well, then it would have been higher, but I'll do it anyway. So, there you go. Yeah. He is chuckling. He is prone in chuckling. <laughs> prone in chuckling. That's fine. I will put a pink dot. And even though I'm pretty sure that prone won't matter because of the other thing, I'll put back pain. All right, Gleok. I get to move, right? <laughs> yeah, sure, if you want to. Just up there. <laughs> as as you go behind the warlock, I, I like this. I like this formation, the skirmishing here. <laughs> uh, Gleok, your turn. Yeah, I'm gonna move up um, to this little crevice here on the stairs. Okay. Go ahead. And then I'm going to cast Bless on my three party members up here. Okay. Bless. We'll give you... Sorry, I didn't mean to do it twice. I just meant to... Double Bless. It. Uh, you don't unprepare it. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, the way preparation works in this is any spells in your memory stay in your memory until you change it. Uh, and you can cast... When you use spell slots, you just pick what spell you want to use. Okay, nice. So you don't have to memorize 12 Cure Light Wounds anymore. Alright, uh, any other movement you should do? I wouldn't be able to attack, right? No, because you, ca uh, you cast a spell. Okay, I'll just um, take a step back then. Okie dokie. Uh, Val. I'm going to move there, and I'll just blast him. Okay, go ahead and take your... Attack, and you can go ahead and roll your 1d4. Okay. Now, unfortunately, since he's prone, your ranged attack is actually a disadvantage. <laughs> but I'll check that real quick. Prone. In, an attack roll against the creature has advantage if the attacker is within 5 feet, otherwise the attack rolls at disadvantage. So yeah, you would have missed either way. Okay, uh, you shoot right over him. Uh, Elorian. I'm gonna uh, move forward. Okay. You hear a lot of heavy chuckling and laughter uh, in the chamber. Um, I would like to throw a dart at the bear. Okay, it'll be at disadvantage because he's prone. Yeah. it. Okay, well, you hit for five damage. And then I get to make an, another wisdom save. And he breaks out of his laughter. But he's still prone. Pretty much I get to make it every time, every round, and every time he takes damage. But at least uh, allowed uh, the Azimar to get away. Alright, Elementar, that was your action. Uh, goblins are still unconscious. Uh, Wolfie, one, two, three, four, five. Damn. Chomp. 
time for a bite. So, bite. Misses. He would have made you into a chew toy. Alright, new round. Alright. I will stab the wolf. Alright. And I, it's a beast. Yep, so you do get your plus two damage. Plus two damage rolls, just like, yeah. Okay, so eight, eight in total. Eight. You stab it right in the side of the neck. Um, it is angry as blood comes out of its growling mouth. If you move away, you Check. will provoke. <laughs> right. Uh, hmm. You know, disengage actually probably would be a better option here. But. All right. If well, I provoke it if I jump down and yes, you will because it's still leaving your you're still leaving threatened area. All right. Well, I guess I'm staying here. I mean, as funny as it would be to like be caught in its jaws and be yanked back. <laughs> really, my first D&D character was eaten alive by wargs. I don't want to relive that. Well, you might get smashed by a bugbear instead then. Yeah. All right. So bugbear is going to get up, which loses up half its movement, and it's going to go ahead and step forward. It was a pleasure. <laughs> well, let's see, if you, let's see if we can make you shorter. Barely a miss. <laughs> so, this slagmite is now gone. <laughs> As another heavy blow uh, whooshes over your head. And smashes into the, into the, uh, the rock face. Alright, goes to um, Kyrie. Well, crap, it's back on its feet already. I mean, it allowed you to reposition, so it's better than nothing. Am um, I far enough away to shoot it with an arrow? Yeah. Um, yeah, as long as you're not in melee range, um, it's you can shoot normally. Okay. Um, you can roll bless, but it's going to hit anyway. Okay. Uh, yeah, you hit it... Uh, right in the shoulder, and it sinks right in. It's still alive, though. He's getting banged up and blasted and hit with darts, and bolts and arrows are sticking out of him. And uh, Actually, I think it's just arrows and darts. And yeah, he is pissed. Uh, Gleeok, your turn. I don't know, he seemed pretty happy a minute ago. <laughs> he, he thought it was hilarious. <laughs> um, I'm going to go to the left of um, Illyrion here, and then cast Cure Wounds. Okay, so you're going to shift Thank back. Thank you! Okay, go ahead and cast your Cure Wounds. When you click it, just said it's a level 1. Yep. Uh, you do have the plus 2 bonus from your healer thing, so it's 5 in total. Okay. Your life cleric, right? Yes. Yep, then that's how it works. That's how it works. Thank you again! Okay, um... And I guess I'll just stay right there, so Val. I'm gonna try to hit the bugbear. Also, Val is actually supposed to go bef uh, before Gleok, so that's my mistake. That's okay. You actually have fire decks. Alright, uh, go ahead. Do your thing. Uh, you can roll your uh, bless if you want. Alright, unfortunately it's still a mess. But now you know it's definitely a mess. <laughs> She's going to step up there. All right, sounds good. No, she's not. She can't see him anymore if she does that. So she's going to not move at all. Okay. Uh, freaking Alorian. Just going to pop myself right here and... Oh, boy. Um... There's a wolf here and a bugbear here. Both are wounded. I'm gonna go for the wolf. Okay. I help out my homie. All right, go ahead and start it up. You hit, and you did exactly how much you needed to kill it. <laughs> that was the description you got. Sweet. All right. Do you wish to do any other movement? No. <laughs> Everyone, I see how it is. All right. Uh, goblins are asleep. Wolf is dead. 
Um, Clem. Mm -hmm. So wolves have been snapping at you. Ma heavy maces are smashing everything around you. And uh, there's a empty pool behind you. And the wolf is dead, though. Yeah. Essentially, you're still, you still feel like you're very, very cornered. <laughs> I will disengage actions and pop down into the water. Okay, well, this is not filled with water. Well, okay, well, I guess it's better than taking, like, the chunk of damage from either one, but, hey, uh, you, let's see. You can move here, yes. I'm thinking. Well, uh, one thing to note is when you disengage, all, your, all of your movement does not provoke attack opportunities. So I yes, know. Yeah, you can I do think. stuff like that. <laughs> can I go diagonal around? Yes. The, okay. Diagonal movement is still normal movement. Even around the an enemy? Yep. The only thing that provokes attacks opportunity is leaving someone's attack range unless it says otherwise. It's not like Pathfinder. <laughs> so pivoting around is very much common. <laughs> You're gonna dive into the water. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm so, not taking that D6. <laughs> I think you hear, and I quote, whoop, 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 as he runs around and just dives into the water. <laughs> All right, Bugbear. Bugbear snarls and dashes. Three, five, and... Okay. And that is it. Goes to um, Kyrie. Move back to here and see what I can't see. Okay. So I'll go ahead and give a quick description of the room. Um, sacks and crates of looted provisions are piled up in the south end of this large cave. To the west, the floor slopes toward a narrow opening that descends into darkness. Um, a larger opening leads north, which is where you came from, down a, a set of natural stone steps, the roar of the falling water echoing from beyond. In the middle of the cavern, it, the coals of a large fire smolder. Oh, and there's two unconscious goblins. I will uh, ready an arrow and, and wait. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Since I can't see the bugbear. <laughs> no problem. Uh, Gliok? Um, did you say that would be before me? Or was that for something else? Uh, say again? Did you say that would be before me? Or was that for something else? Oh, yeah. I'll go ahead. Actually, you have it. Oh, no. Sorry. That was. Uh, sorry. It was. Me. Yeah. Actually, I did that wrong. <laughs> All right. Okay. No, you're good. Yeah. Go ahead. And go ahead and go. Cool. Um, yeah. I guess I'll just move up for right now. Okay. Right, you have 20 feet of movement left, so if you want to, you can step through uh, Val and go diagonal if you really want to. There you go. Okay, and um, yeah, I guess I'll ready my crossbow um, for the bug there. All right. Elorian. Okie dokie. I am going to take a step forward. And I do have a uh, trap in my backpack. Uh, yeah, Maybe if you want, it, it'll be an action to set it, yes. And you just put it in a five foot square. I would like to pop one just right to the left of me. Okay, that's fine. I will. I will go ahead and finish up my movement. Okay. Uh, all right. So, Alorian, since you got this far in, um, you do not see the bugbear in the in the room. 
Uh, there are two sleeping goblins, and at this point, I'm going to go ahead and close initiative. So you guys can go ahead and free move. Uh, eventually, the bless is just going to wear off. All right, I need to figure out how I'm going to get back up on the ledge. <laughs> oh, well, this the, you you fell in the pool, so you can actually probably just climb out. All right, any roll? No, you can just climb out. Dude, can I, uh, can I throw these goblins? Yeah, you can go ahead and. Uh, what was this big red square to my left? Um, that you see, see in there, you see a hunting trap, which is essentially a bear trap, and that was set by um. Well, you see a bear trap. Okay. Uh, um, can I just do like a perception for where the fuck the bug bear went? Uh, sure. Um, well, yeah, go ahead and you can do a survival if you want to track specifically. Can I assassinate the sleeping one? Yeah, um... Oop. I think Val was already on that. Oh, Teamwork. okay. My bad. Tracking that. Okay. You see the tracks go... that way towards the little um, fissure opening. So I'm gonna shout to the party. Or, well, I guess, in a calm voice, not really shouting. Uh, the bugbear went to the left through the fissure. Pointing. If y'all can all see my pointing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anything okay. interesting on the goblins? Uh, goblins, uh, just scimitars. Are these things like supplies, or is that just... Oh, uh, yeah. So, going through that. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so looking through, um, you see a, it looks like a whole lot of like provisions and things that were probably taken from other caravans that happened to be ambushed and taken. Um, looking through, you do see uh, do, 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 a some of the uh, crates, or actually a majority of the crates, are marked with a blue lion. Let us uh, finish off the goblins before we try to haul this back to the carts. Well, I've already put X's on it, them, so they're dead. <laughs> uh, well, I would, yeah, you know, there's probably <laughs> more. Um, also, besides that, um, you find a treasure chest. Is it locked? Uh, you can do, well, you can test it for, you can check and you see that it is not locked. Uh, I will check it. What do I need to roll to check the traps? Uh, it'll be investigation. All right, this can go only well. Okay. Um, from what you can tell, there are no traps. All right. Well, shall I open it or? Go for it. All right, I open. All right. I open the chest. All right. Inside are four bugbears. All right. Besides that, you find six hundred copper pieces, a hundred and ten silver. Two uh, p uh, vials with red liquid in it. A jade statuette of a frog with a with tiny golden orbs for eyes, and that is it. How much silver was it? One hundred and ten silver. And six copper. Six hundred copper. Six hundred copper. Yeah, whole six gold worth of copper. Oh <laughs> boy! Welcome to level uh, one. Jade statue. Yeah, there's a a jade statuette of a frog with tiny golden orbs for eyes, and then there are two vials with red liquid in them. There you go. Um, you get there. So. Um, you said there was like a uh, blue sun or something on this stuff. Um, so the the the, the stuff that um uh freaking. Trying to remember names. Uh, Glim, the the chest that Glim's going through, um, that doesn't have any emblem on it. But the supplies that are down here, um, the crates and stuff, have an image are marked with an image of a blue lion. Okay. Um. Can I do? Let's we'll try be, history first. Be, I guess it'll be history. Yes. Okay. Mm, not anything you recognize.
Would it be Arcana to identify the potions? Um, you, it would just be a taste test. Um, obviously, there's a risk if it's a poisonous thing, but other than that, it, tasting it would give you immediately the information you need. Otherwise, you would need something more like identify that's safer. Yeah, I'm going to do that. All right, taste taste All right. test. No problem. They're both uh, potions of healing. Cool. All right. Uh, as for the 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 trail leading towards uh, where the bugbear went, um, you can see there's a fissure, and down the fissure leads about thirty feet down um, down below. Um, Elorian, uh, as you look down down that chimney, um, you think you can hear gra uh, like chewing and growling and stuff. If I approach and actually look through, uh, um, am I able to see if the what the wolves are munching on? No, technically you don't see the wolves because it's a thirty three it's a thirty foot chimney, but you definitely can uh, hear them. Yeah. All right, so shall we circle back and go get across that bridge from earlier? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, Might as well remove the hunting trap. The hunting. Well, ah! will... <laughs> um, how is everybody looking? I have surprisingly not taken any health damage. There's a lot of scared people, and you might smell uh, fear, uh, but you can clearly see the only people that have been wounded have been scaled. Have been scaled? Yeah. The lizard man and the dragon are the only people that have been wounded. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine. I'll just stick it to the back lines. Be safe. I should do the same. Do we want me to? Do we want the uh, ranger to leave the front again, or I guess because it looks like it might be looking at the passageways, it might become a conga line again. It might be best to have the be monk up front, and then we can just like shoot over you. Can I get one of the health potions? I mean, who has, based off of like what everybody's wearing, who's got the most armor on? Probably the cleric. Yeah, I guess if I have my shield up and I'll have 16. <laughs> I have 14 AC. I'm wearing leather armor. I have some. Pretty stuff, tough scales. Uh, I'm just a little wounded. I mean, you can have one of the potions of healing. That's fine. Can I? If if so, I would like to drink one of these potions of healing. Do you want to use your expendables now? I mean, uh, unless I can get a heal elsewise or oh, other way. And I already used Cure Wounds once. Um, like I said, it's you pick whatever spell you want. Uh, yeah, so can we... I wonder if we have enough time, I can just do it as a ritual. And then, you, know. you can't... It, you only cast spells as a ritual if they, they have a ritual attack. Oh, okay. Um, could, you have your heal spell, and I think that's it, because I don't think you have channel yet. If you wanted yet. to trust no, no, yeah. take a short rest... Correct, you can do a short rest, it's an hour long. You basically just if we're gonna do that, we need to leave the cave. Yeah, I mean, I'll just do my cure wounds, and I think we we'd be good to go. All right, cast cure wounds on uh, Alorian. So go ahead and roll it. There you just did. Recover Thank five. You. I am happy to take front lead. All right, so with those rolls, I, I can safely say you're not wasting them. At least. <laughs> with those... <laughs> true. True. <laughs> uh, Alor yeah, there you go. All right, you guys are good to go. Yeah, we'll have range. We'll stay in the middle now. And Alorian, you got your trap back. Thank you. Yep, yep. Also, I don't think I ever gave a description of the overpass. Uh, the stream, uh, stream passage continues up beyond another set of uneven steps ahead, bending eastward as it goes. A waterfall sounds out of a, from a large cavern somewhere ahead of you, which you already know where that's coming from. A rickety bitch bridge spans the passage connecting two tunnels that are 20 feet above the stream. There you go. Anything uh, special on this uh, dead guy? Uh, short bow and ten arrows. Or sorry, nine, nine arrows. arrows. Not interested. Keep moving. 
It was it's because of the odd number, isn't it? Yep. Amira's nine. Nine. Uh, I've got a list of everything that we've found so far, and we I'll can split it up later. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, looking forward, is there any any traps or anything? Uh, you can do a perception or investigation. Do we want to maybe set a trap behind us in case that bugbear decides to come back? Okay, you see no traps. Um, I'll pass my trap back uh, behind us. Just kind of hopefully handing it back to back to back. Okay, so you're going to set it? Are you putting it on the bridge? Yeah, I'll, I'll put it on the bridge. Or whoever's doing it. Red square of trap. Okay. You can hear um, what sounds like eating and just chatter up ahead. All right. Can I just kind of sneak forward? Uh, you can make a stealth check, yes. All right. You are sneaky somehow. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay, um, I'm going to step back. Well, Kyrie followed you, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I mean, to be fair, I'm amazed that you made the stealth check even with a glowing item in your possession, so. <laughs> All right, so Kyrie managed to find the one twig that was in this cavern, apparently, and stepped on it. Um, the goblins definitely look up and see the glistening scales of a lizard man with a, a glowing goblin arm. And let's go ahead and uh, we can go ahead and build this navy. Oh, that's right, because it's a separate token. Oh yeah. man, I'm not going first this time. <laughs> I'm not... not like below 10 this time there you go uh everyone rolled good stuff i fixed mine descending and you obviously have higher decks okay with all that taken care of um what's that supposed to mean obviously um races against heavy armor and uh clerics <laughs> alorian your turn and they're well aware of that i'm here uh, yeah, they pretty much spot you. There's no surprise or anything like that, so... I'm gonna yell back to my companions, uh, six goblins, and drop... Oh, I imagine this is light over here. Yep, that right. is light. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take if I a step forward. Am I able to still take a step back to jump down that slope? Uh, possible? you can slide down it, yes. It's difficult. It's difficult cool. terrain, so you'll go half movement. And if okay. you go down there, you're uh, gonna have to start losing line of sight because of the elevation. Cool. I'm going to ready a attack till one gets close to me. Okay. Uh, are you gonna ready a quarter staff attack or a bite? Uh, I'm going to do a quarter staff. Okay. Good. All right. Goes to Val. Can I hear our lizard friend moving around somewhere over here? Uh, he's going this way. Do I understand this cave well enough to realize that if I go over here, we could probably lead them out through some sort of passage that we saw earlier? Let me try this. Here, I'm gonna do something with your token real quick. Let's see if I can make this work. Boop. 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 Are you trying the fog of war thing? Yeah. Yeah, we did it last night with my Pathfinder game. It was actually pretty nice. It it does some weird things. Uh like sometimes like I had trouble resetting it was the thing I ran into. It 
and if you if you try to reset it and you keep using the same token, it'll just do like weird shit, like um, like like this room that has the fireplace in it or the the campfire in it. Like every time I try to reset it, it will uh, it'll fill this in, in again for some reason. So, oh, but if it's a first time going through, I think it works fine. So, there's a little bit of your fog of war uh, revealed, uh, Val. So, does that give you a better layout? Yeah, I'm just trying to so, figure out where yeah, so the lizard is. Well, you you came in from this way, and the lizard went that way. All right, I'm gonna move up then. Okay. He did not dive down the um slope. Mm -hmm. You can move diagonal. Twenty-five there. I think I can move one more. Yep, you can. So I'm. I don't think I'm within line of sight of any of them, but I'm gonna hold an action to. Okay. Attack. There's rocks and stuff. Right. I'm gonna hold an action to uh, attack. Did your armor wear off? I didn't actually look at the duration. It's an hour, so I'm pretty much. I think I'm good. Uh, I think so. Let me. Okay, you, you you changed her max. I see what you did. Okay. All right, goes to um, Clem. All right, so I can't. I don't have line of sight on that one. Yeah, I'll, I'll let me trace it. Uh, you. Hold on a second. I'm gonna move your token out of the way. Boop. I'm gonna say yes. It's kind of iffy, but I think All it's right. a. I can I'll take it. disadvantage if you need. If you need no, it's fine. Go ahead and take a shot. You got half. No, the uh, apparently that that wall was in the way. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you wish to move anywhere else? We'll stay where I am. Okay, I'm gonna go gobos. All right, go ahead and make your one attack um, with your reaction. And unfortunately, it's a miss. Boop, boop. And give me one moment. 